caught this this morning. This is freaking cool. As you can see, this is from Pegasus Kid on Twitter. The Mortal Kombat 2 source code thread. Apparently, the Mortal Kombat 2 source code has been leaked. And some of the sprites found in there just is just mind-blowing. Uh, let's take a look at some of these. Um, this is an animation of, Gore, of uh, Kentaro that was uh, found in the game that hasn't, wasn't used. And uh, it keeps going. Uh, Johnny Cage found a, new an found a lot of new animations for this guy, including a never-seen-before fo fatality uh, and MK3-style combos. We are theorizing... Uh, we were theorizing for this fatality animation to be an early version of his uh, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance brain rip. Uh, I recall back when, when Mortal Kombat 2 was on test back in 92, and I was only like 18. I was a kid. Uh, some of the EMK developers, some of the people at Midway, would uh, go to their test locations and monitor the game. Ed Boone and the team, the programmers, the developers, stayed in Chicago because they wanted to be very close to uh, their own development environment. That way, if they needed to change something or uh, alter something, they were right there. But uh, other mid midway heads, uh, people higher up the chain, uh, Roger Sharp would come out to the Detroit area arcades and make his little tour to Red Baron and to the Frenchtown Square Mall at uh, Valley of Aladdin's Castle. Some of those arcades he would make, uh, that Mortal Kombat 2 was on test, he'd make his rounds. And he uh, mentioned... Uh, way back then that uh, there was one fatality that he himself had to put the kibosh on and it was, uh, he called it the, a brain bash fatality where basically a fist hits you in the head, tears your face off, the brain splatter out the back of your head and you, you slump over and this was pretty much it. This is, the, this is the animation that he was talking about where Johnny Cage drills the face <laughs> then throws the brains on the floor. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, uh, Roger Roger put the kibosh on that himself, uh, from what he said back then. I remember that vaguely. I mean, or, I mean not vaguely, but I'll, I'll remember it for the, uh, for all my life here. Um, MK1 knee, Johnny Cage doing a knee, knee strike. I think this animation was used. I'm not positive. Uh, it seems like that this was going to transition into his high punt kick for, a, you know, a two-hit combo. But they eventually scrapped it. And just gave him the high punt kick. Uh, an entirely new animation called Power Punch in the files. Apparently Power Punch. This could either be an entirely new scrap special move or a combo ender. They kind of they, they pretty much gave this to uh, Jax in Mortal Kombat uh, Trilogy. I think they had more than one character do that animation eventually for some of the Mortal Kombat games. Um, see, and another interesting thing to note here is that these sprites actually still have the Auto Mix logo. I wonder if they could be used to restore the original Cage look in MK2. Yeah, they and when uh, when this uh, motion uh, capture was being filmed, they did. Uh, they Ed Boon and John Tobias had to uh, censor the Auto Mix uh, logo off off of Cage's. Uh, uh, gear there and some of these sprites don't have it so they're pretty much pretty authentic they can't that that's one way of uh, verifying that they're legit um this is another one as a bonus round Shao Kahn's big hand from a scrapped fatality where he would put his hand in a portal and would come down on top of the screen crushing player two this one was messed up in the original sprite rips for the game not anymore they fixed it it was a fatality intended for uh, Shao Kahn. Uh, a scrapped combo sequence for Kung Lao. Doesn't make much sense because it's missing some frames, frames of animation. Random picture of someone swimming on a beach pool named MKVOG in the files. I wonder who that is. <laughs> yeah, they were probably going to use the background for something. Um... Never never seen before reptile air, acid air spit bound. Yep. Uh, it makes sense that they considered this as, as they also considered Sub-Zero to have an air move as well. And I wonder if they planned one for Scorpion. Yep, that's the animation they filmed for uh, reptile doing his air spit. Looks real good. I wish they could have done something. Uh, extra frame for reptile's force ball at the end of the animation. 
uh, Jax's Airwave. This was added uh, to MK Trilogy, I believe. This one is cool. This one I like. A beast-like walk for Kentaro was found. Thanks to uh, Ermacker for his awesome extracting tool. This, <laughs> you got to see this. This is this is sick. I wish they would have used this animation in the game for when Kentaro is mad and he's going for that free cheap hit. Yep, that big power walk. <laughs> Uh, an entire new new animation for Liu Kang has been found uh, named Backfist. Bam! Um, there's also a double knee animation for Liu in the files. They actually had Eddie Wong when uh, Eddie Wong, the motion uh, capture actor, replaced uh, Ho Sung Pak for Liu Kang. They had uh, Eddie Wong do the same animation for the uh, dial-in combo on MK3. You probably remember that. Um, the missing ninja sprite from MK2 finally found. Katana Spin was found. Uh, they don't know if this was meant for a fatality or a uh, scrap special move. My guess is that they might have used that for uh, maybe like a tornado, a fan tornado move. Uh, extra frames found for two animations of the ninjas, these being acid spit and uppercut. Yeah. Oh, here we go. This would have been cool. I wish this would have made the game. Shang Tsung, Roundhouse Punch. Drill. <laughs> Uh, there's, um, there's this unknown animation named Short Zap for Raiden. Uh, they used this animation in MK Trilogy where, uh, where he would grab him by the neck and then throw him. It was a, some kind of a throw move, I remember. Electric, electric throw. Or kind of, some kind of electric grab. I do recall that. Um... And there's, yeah, there's the, it was the short zap, the animation for it. Now here's the, uh, here's all, here's what was cut. If you look at this, these are sprites of all the, uh, for the brain rip or the brain bash fatality. Uh, the top were the, uh, head animations. Uh, they, they edited the, the face off of them, put some blood on there for the hole with a, this would go through and then the, this right here the bottom row is the back of the head which would be laid over when the sprite fell over in death this would uh, replace the uh, head on the ground that way you could see the exit hole <laughs> man that would have been nice and here's the animation here's the actual animation of what that brain batch fatality would look like when they fall over and they got that exit wound in the back of the head Let's see here. There was some different character names found. Well, Hat Boy became Kulao. Knockout, Bombshell, Edward. Um, Bereta became Baraka, Katana. Ariel, Feral, Rancor, Rage, Asmodeus, Siren. Yeah. They were mostly just... Uh, uh, this this reply here that these were mostly likely there for joking or testing out uh, name font. Thanks for posting. Yeah, they could have been you know testing out the font and they'll end the character maps. That does happen in game development a lot. Um, here's another Shang Tsung animation of a backflip that was unused. These are uh, hanging sprites. See a mock up of their idea for the Baraka fatality. Let me scroll up. I want to find that one for the brain rip. Because somebody did uh somebody did um do a mock up video that you gotta see. 
I do want to play it. Oh, goodness, where are you? Let me pause this so I can find it real quick. And I found it. Okay. Here's some of the, um, as I said earlier when I showed this to you, the uh, this animation here, this is the falling over for the uh, brain bash fatality. Scrolling down further, you see the blood uh, splash that was intended for it. Um, they also should have used some of the brain chunks for Jax's head squash fatality. They were probably going to put those in there. And this is what it, pretty much what it would have looked like in the game. <laughs> Man. One more time. See, right here, right there at that frame is when you want to put the brain matter from Jax's head squash fatality falling all over the floor. Maybe having a piece fly out the back of the head. And then when uh, Cage throws it down, there's a brain chunk laying on, his, on, on the body's leg there. Yeah. They, they, I think, that, I'm hoping, I'm hoping some of this will get added into uh, the uh, MK2 Plus project that is floating around. That would be killer. But anyway, uh, definitely check this stuff out. Uh, a lot of this this uh, this thread here will be in the description. Uh, yeah, you might be interested in uh, taking a look at some of this. So I'll have a link to this thread in the description. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, I got to transition over. Uh, thanks for watching. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Uh, and uh, if you can, uh, contribute to uh, uh, contribute to uh, three dollar monthly subscription on uh, Patreon. Keep uh, keep this channel going a little bit. Help me out with a little. It's not much. I don't ask for much. Um, because of YouTube and their policies on censorship and the privatization of free speech, I do not want, I, I do not monetize my videos. So, unfortunately, I want to, I want to interact directly between you and I. If there's any kind of financial transaction to happen, it should be between you and me. We, we're not doing them. Uh, YouTube is not the middleman. I have uh, evicted the, <laughs> I, have, I have evicted the middleman out of the, out of the equation. But anyway, like I said, if you like what you see here, ring the bell, subscribe, uh, kick me three bucks, uh, recurring payments uh, every month on uh, Patreon, and we will see you next time in the next video. Degonzo, thanks for watching.